Welcome back to Rolf's Biscuits. Today we're going to do a very traditional Swiss Biscuits, which is basically a Swiss style shortbread. It's very lovely, very easy to do, and it's a biscuits where you can use a lot of the uh, egg yolks, because most of the biscuits you only use the egg whites, and with this one you can actually use the egg yolk, so you don't have to eat omelettes and frittatas for a week after you're making the biscuits. So what we start off with is with some margarine. Just put margarine, nice and soft, should be. Then we just make it nice and creamy in a bowl. So, and now we're gonna do the eggs. What I'm using here, I use one whole egg, sorry about that, and then I use two egg yolks from a previous biscuit, two egg yolks, and then I have to put three or two tablespoons of milk in it. So mix it. And we put that in here. Mix it and now we put the other ingredients in which is flour, sugar, the rind of a lemon and a pinch of salt, the exact numbers you can get from the recipe on, on the video. And we mix it. Nice dough. So, now I'm going in with my hands. Some people don't do it, I love it. I just feel that, I just feel the need of being in touch with my biscuits. So. 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 All right. So the dough is ready now. So I put it in clean wrap and put it in the fridge for half an hour and an hour just to cool down. Okay? Just wash my hands. So, and put it in the fridge. Okay, this is the dough now, ready. It's been in the fridge for a while and it's basically ready to be rolled out and made, made into nice little shapes. So, because it's not for Christmas, it's just for every day, so I picked out some different ones, like just the plain round ones. Uh, the, like the, the plain round ones. Or, you know, it's, I don't know what you would call it, it's like a little flower here. Or then we've got the dragonfly, or for German people it's a libelle. And just for all the musicians amongst us, a guitar. Okay, now let's do this. We have to roll it out on flour. So I put them on flour. Put some flour on the board. Get that, take, take half of it. 
So. There we go. This solid. And now, with the pin, we roll it to about 3 to 4 millimeter thickness. Now just make sure that it doesn't stick to the ground, to the, the board or the, the bench. So, very nice, very nice, loosen it up again. So, now we take some shapes, put them in, in the flower first, let's try with the round ones. Then, there, put them on a, on a tray. Let's get a guitar, do some guitars, I wonder if they come out, yeah they're not that good because the, the top is a bit thin to get them out. So, these guitars they're not that straight. Lovely. So, now let's try another one. Let's try a dragonfly. Have a look how this one works. Try to get the most out of it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They're quite difficult to actually do because they're very skinny and they, they have the tendency to, to stick to the, the board. So, now we just do another. Or I just... There. And we just use the round one. So see that they had they didn't come off or they fell out of the, of the form, so you just have to take them up with a knife and put them on the tray. That works. It's not a big it's not a big drama. So and the rest we just do back into a ball and roll it out again and get some more. So. so. Let's try another dragonfly. Just one more. it out with the finger so and put it on here and that's it so now we put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then we put them in the oven all right they've been in the fridge now for uh, about 10 minutes and almost ready to go in the oven all I have to do is basically Place them with the egg yolks. I just put, some people put egg yolks and mix it with milk. I don't do that, I just did the plain egg yolk. So just put it on top. And then they can go in the oven. At 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. So. 
Nice guitars here. It depends to the, the color of the yolk, uh, how deep the actual glaze is going to be. So. so, now we put them in the oven at 200 degrees for, uh, in the, for about 10 minutes. Alright, I think I'm going to check on the biscuits, have a look if they're ready, they must be very close, because they don't normally take that long. So, yes I think they are, yeah, they look quite nice, the bottom one, yeah, that one we need a little bit longer. So, and these ones, all they do now is, I want to try on a cooling tray and then we let them cool down. I know you probably should let them cool down on here a little bit, but I just find it easier. Just put them out on the tray. So, so, that's good. The other try out. And now we just let them cool down and then they're ready to eat. All right, that, that's the finished product now for the Swiss, uh, Swiss style shortbread. Thank you for watching Rolf's Biscuit Treasure Chest. And I always have to try one of those because they're the traditional biscuits in Switzerland. Mm.